Hello guys. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how to make a vertex extrusion in uh, extrusion, vertex extru vertex extrusion in uh, three-dimensional shapes. So the basic uh, grid shape uh, shapes by using a, a video input. Okay, so let's start. First of all, let's make the patch a bit bigger. So first of all, let's create the JIT world, our JIT world object. Let's call this uh, extra um, floating to keep the window on the foreground, um, anti-aliasing, and then let's yeah, let's give it, let's give the window some sizes. Okay, toggle. Okay, now let's create our grid shape. Extra. Uh, let's give it the matrix output to because I want to. We want to keep the transform just to scale it. So then we scale it, and uh, let's take a cylinder shape. Yeah. And then let's give it some dim like 324 by 240 so it will be like the dimensions of our of our small movie so let's actually load uh, let's actually take a movie jit movie um, start let's create also the stop message stop I think we're going to stop it but just in case Okay, so let's keep, uh, let's create a GTP window. And let's take, uh, let's take a movie from our Max database. So this is one that works pretty well with this effect. Okay, then what we need is um, JIT point uh, GL mesh extra. Uh, let's give it uh, the latent enable attribute, smooth shading, and uh, no, let's give it color, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, now, you know that the matrix that comes out from this uh, GTL grid shape is made up of 12 planes. Well, maybe you don't know this. Okay, so I'll use my super secret jitter book to show you how this matrix looks like. So the first three planes are the x, y, and z coordinates uh, of the vertices. Three and four are the coordinates for the um, texture, so texture coordinates. X, y, and s, five, uh, six, and seven are the normal coordinates. And eight, nine is the, eight, nine, 10, and 11 is the color, and 12 is the edge flag array. So we actually need the coordinates, uh, the coordinates of the vertices, and um, the component, uh, the normal vertices, the normal components of the vertices. So in order to take exactly these, uh, these planes, we are going to use the JIT pack with uh, actually three, three outputs. We want the first, with the jump attribute, we are going to select how many, play, how many planes we want. So from the first output, we want the first three planes. From this one, we want, from the second, we want the normal coordinates. And from this one, from the third, we want the texture coordinates. Not really necessary, but just in case. Then we're going to offset. The first is offset, uh, is offset zero. The, we have to offset five planes to reach the, um, the normal vertices. And, uh, sorry, to, need to reach the normal coordinates, yeah. And then we need to just uh, offset three planes in order to reach the texture coordinates. That's because, uh, yeah, one, two, three, we are offsetting these planes with the offset attribute. We are not taking this one. We are just offsetting three and taking these two ones. Okay, so this is what we get. And now let's create our JIT gen. 
this is the jit jam that will perform the the trick. So we need actually three three inputs. Uh, the first here are the vertices. Vertices of the shape. Second one are the normals, and this third one is the color, is the movie color. We actually want just the RGB values, so let's use uh, JIT matrix here with the uh, plane map. We want the first, second, three, and the zero uh, at the end. Okay. So so in here, it's going to be like that. It's the vertices. These are the normals. Texture coordinates, which can directly connect them to the um, to the mesh object. And then this goes here. This is the final position. So in here, we're going to switch the um, RGB from the movie color. And we are going to multiply these for the normals. Uh, well, actually, uh, first I would like to normalize the normals component. I don't know, maybe they are already normalized, probably. But just, just in case, I like the normals always to be normalized. And then let's connect the... Um, yeah, first of connecting this, let's actually multiply this by some external multiplier so that will that will um, actually uh, make us uh, adjust the extrusion value. Now let's sum this to the actual vertex position. So we are just multiplying the 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 color of the of the movie the of the matrix that we are getting in. Uh, for the normals of the object, so the extrusion is actually going in the direction of the opposite to the surface. You know that the normal is uh, this vector that goes uh, perpendicular to the surface, so we actually want the extrusion to go perpendicular to our surface, so we're just multiplying the um, color value uh, for the normal vector, and in this way we're getting the, the extrusion. Sa, 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 bravo, bravo. Okay, so let's see what we got. Seems like it works. Uh, let's also do this in order to, to give it some color. Yeah, cool. Uh, let's create also GTL handle. So oh, let's actually also give it the mesh normals because it may need them for the light calculations. It will need them. Okay, cool. So now whatever vertex, uh, whatever shape we choose, we are always going to have the extrusion in the direction of the uh, perpendicular to the surface, which is good. Yeah. So it may be also sphere. It may be an open cube. And we are always getting the extrusion in the direction of the normals. Let's take, uh, I don't know, bubbles. And yep. Yeah. Always perpendicular to the surface. Uh, open, I guess, is really an open cube sphere. Yeah, uh, this is how you use normals uh, to get the extrusion in the direction perpendicular to the surface. So I hope you found that useful. I'll see you to, to the next video. Ciao guys.